meet someone who can better explain cloud computing and how it can benefit your business. Hello, James. Hi. How are you doing today? Very good. For, for a lot of uh, uh, organizations, you know, information and, and data drives the way that they, they do business. And, and quite often, the speed of which information will flow through that business has got a direct impact on how quick they can actually conduct their business. I think, I think the biggest uh, uh, challenge is that the technology has advanced so quickly uh, that many uh, business owners just aren't aware of what's actually possible today. And this is where compatibility can actually really help businesses understand you know, what is actually available today you know, that, that can actually help your business, in, in, you know, whether it's just getting a better handle of your email, whether it's just you know, better scheduling of, of, uh, of work that needs to be done. I think one of the major issues that we face I think it's accessibility to people's IT. I think it's all very well having it maybe in-house on your server, but I think it's, for business people, it's getting hold of it and getting hold of it, whether you're at home, perhaps in a hotel, with clients. How do you see accessibility? The top thing that uh, people were challenging is exactly that, mobile working. Yeah. Uh, you know, how can I actually get a better work-life balance if I can actually work at different times of the day, then that, that will suit better. Uh, and so, you know, we've very much been looking at uh, Microsoft transforming to be more of a, a devices as people using more smartphones and tablets and what we call a services so we can actually deliver technology as a service uh, via something called cloud computing. And that, that ability to actually deliver IT as a service is what's going to free people up and provide that mobile working. The language has changed as well. We used to talk about work as a place that I go to. Now it's a thing that I do. Exactly. Uh, so, so the thing that we're finding is that uh, you know the, the, the core, core, what we call core workload, like email, for example. You know, why why would I, I take on the sort of uh, challenges of, of having a server for email, where I know I'm going to constantly have to be buying storage for it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I need to patch it and maintain it. Well, actually, it, sh it should just be working. And so, th something like email naturally lends itself to, to mobile working. So we can move that workload to the cloud. And what we're seeing is over a sort of five-year sort of period, more and more sort of business applications are also making the way to the cloud. We avoid. Um, the problems that we have with different platforms. Oh, I've got this version of Word, and so and so's got that version of Word, and we can't read each other's documents unless we download a patch. So, uh, again, it removes those barriers to efficient working. There will always be some, you know, infrastructure or, or technology that you would have in the office, uh, but more and more of the sort of day-to-day -day things that we need to do, we can actually now consume from from devices. That's what businesses are looking for. I think they're looking for that part and part of that what we call a hybrid solution yeah. where you've got some of your applications in the office yeah. that you can see that's in the cabinet that you know and love but perhaps some of the more critical ones are in the cloud being run on other people's servers that, that are a lot more reliable. Some of the larger organisations have been able to enable mobile working, uh, but it's, it's kind of been cost prohibitive uh, perhaps in the past for, for smaller uh, and medium businesses uh, and now I could have those same technologies available on demand and, it, and that's what's, what's changing the way that people are thinking. For a lot of businesses it's the replacement cost of the servers that they've got. They've made a, a big outlay, they've now got four or five different servers, a mail server, a business server, an application server and it's the replacement cost of those which will run into thousands. This is where we can drive the cost of IT down for them. Now, big upfront capital expenditure is it's, it's quite painful today, you know, with uncertainty as regards where uh, business is going. The fact that you can now subscribe to uh, these services, and, and in some cases, the sort of base services uh, are less than the price of a cup of coffee and a sandwich. I think one of the other things that, that you'll see is as more and more customers embrace cloud for their IT technology, the fact that the, uh, the cloud is uh, sort of refreshed every six months, every 12 months, every 18 months, will actually keep businesses more current on technology, uh, keep them up to date, keep them more competitive as regards the technology that they will have available to actually better their business. Having a lot of the work in the cloud actually helps us monitor it as well. It means we can be a lot more proactive for these businesses seeing how much they're using, whether they need more capacity, whether they need less capacity, and actually managing their needs rather than managing a dusty old server in the corner. Well, as I say, it's, you know, it's the generation uh, that, that's coming into the workforce that, that we need to be considering. You know, they, they've grown up in an era where uh, they've only ever known the internet to exist. Mm. But the, the sort of expectation of what technology can do today is always on, always connected. And that's not just in, in personal lives. As those people now move into business, they expect that from business technology as well. And sometimes, you know, uh, uh, small businesses that don't have, uh, you know, full-time IT, and, and even when working with, with partners, don't necessarily have a team of people 
on site to actually uh, uh, change the, uh, the technology. They're, they're looking for how they can actually enable this mobile working, better access to information. And the cloud is going to give them an economy of scale that they've never, uh, never sort of seen before. And, and it helps as we're working for businesses that don't have IT, we're their IT department. Absolutely. And if you would like to take the cloud, we will absolutely make that available to you via our partners. Or, or if you to take a, a mid-term step, a hybrid solution. A hybrid, if you want a, a blend of, of cloud and on-premises, that's fine. Or if you want to continue to buy servers and buy uh, server software, uh, you know, we provide that choice as well. Uh, and so, you know, the, the, the customer can make the right choice uh, with guidance uh, to suit their business needs. Oh. Um, we can come along and say, look, let's put a portion of this securely in the cloud. I think it's going to be much easier to go to a subscription service that's really safe, really secure. You don't have those upfront sunken costs. And I guess what our job is, yours and mine together, is to try and bring that to people, to show people what's out there. And the fact that it actually doesn't cost a great deal, it's actually going to save you money in the long run. Following on from our conversations yesterday and over the last few weeks, uh, I'm so excited about this morning. Uh, I think we've got some fantastic things to show some of these businesses. Let's do it. Cheers.